Hi, in this video I want to show you how to use MATLAB App Designer to create a graphical user interface for your program. Now here I have two simple functions. One is the addition function, basically we have input x and y and then the function gives us uh, x plus y. And then the second one is that there is an input, so this uh, function will create vectors of x and y, which is made by this. And then later on it calculates a matrix of z corresponding to the x and y. So later on we can use x and y and z to, to create a 3D plot. So I'm going to use these two functions in my um, GUI, basically. Alright, so to start, click on New and then select App. Alright, so obviously we need, because we want to perform addition um, functions, so we need um, we need two inputs uh, and then because these inputs are numerical so I'm going to select this box here so this is the first one and I need another one so these are the two inputs that we receive also I need another one another because I want to print the output inside this box then I need a button which basically whenever I press these two numbers should be added together and shown here also I need a basically a graph that that shows me the plot which I want to plot okay so I can change the size of this also I want to add a switch here um, that whenever the switch is on I want to show this plot and whenever it's off I don't want to show the plot all right now I have already added all the all the components that I want now I'm going to change the name of them and then position them as I want. So this is for example input 1 input 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 1 and this is input 2 and this is output and let's say this button should be plus and I can change it to square maybe I can change the font of this from this right hand side so this one let's say is 24 also I want to change the background of that button to pink to give it a little bit better view all right, so this is basically the addition and this is good. And then I can adjust the size of this. All right. So now we are done with the, with basically the graphical view of this uh, and, and we have to add the code into this um, program. So here we click on code view. This is the design view, we click on code view you can see that all the components that we added into the design view, they are already listed here. Now what we want to do is that whenever I click on the uh, plus button, I want that the two numbers on, on those two boxes, uh, they should be red and then we have to perform the addition using the external function and then we print it basically into the third box. So I need to create a callback for this uh, button, basically you right click on it from callback you select add button basically create a callback all right so now what I do is that I have to read basically the first input um, so let's say I put x is equal um, the name of the input basically input 1 and then I can select actually it appears here and then what do I want to read the value of that so I select value Okay, so basically this one gives us the, the first read. So I can copy and paste because for the second one I can just edit it. So y is equal to input 2 and then we read it. And then for the third one basically what we want to do is that after we read them, so this is now the output. Okay, so I want the value of the output to be equal to um, addition, which is the function that we have, and then these two numbers. 
All right, so with this line, I read the first box. With this one, I read the second box. And with this one, I basically first perform the addition of the x and y using the external function, and then I put it inside the third box. So let us run this one and see whether the, the code works or not. So I'm going to save this um, app basically on the same folder that I put those functions. So this is the folder that I have these two functions. I also copy that one there. I save that one there. All right, so now we have saved it. Okay, so I have here, so I put six and seven, so we have 13, so this is good. Now I want to add some feature to this. Basically what I want is that whenever I do this addition, I want this output actually be fed into that um, graph basically, and then we, we create a graph corresponding to this output. All right, so first I have to prepare because that graph, uh, the, the second function had three output, X and Y and Z. So this x and y and z is equal to m plot. This is the, the other function. And then this is the input of the second function, which is actually the same as this addition. So I can copy that one here and put it here. Okay, so I have that one. And then basically I can plot it mesh. And then we have x and y and z. But then we don't want to plot it on a separate uh, figure. We want to plot it on this uh, figure that we have in our application. So I have to add a little bit of lines here, so parent, and then here I should write the name of this, um, basically, app.uiaccess. Alright, so what it does right now is that this, basically, if you look at the second function that I have here, there are three outputs. We feed it with one input and then it produces two, three outputs. So here we actually get those three outputs. And uh, basically we use the mesh plot to create a 3D plot of these outputs. And then we actually want to show it on here. Let me run it again. All right. Let's say I put some numbers here. Okay, so we have this plot right now. Uh, the addition will be done and this one will be fed to the second function and we get the plot. But now what I want to do is that I want this plot appears only if I if the switch is on. If the switch is off, I don't want to. I want to have a blank uh, figure here. All right, so now what I have to do is that let us see what is uh, the, the data coming from the switch. So what I do is that I define a val, basically, and then this is basically app dot switch dot value. Let us see what is the value of the switch. So I just save it, and then if I rerun it, you can see that the the switch um, value it comes something like this. And then if it is on, you can see that the switch value it's like something like that. So if I so I can write an if if function if um, uh, str, uh, str cmpi if I, the comparison of uh, val and uh, let's say on if this one is one so if val is equal to on uh, if that is true then we want to perform this function and if it is not true else I want to do basically I want to plot some empty graph so empty graph is basically maybe uh, I have uh, x is this one, just y is 0, 0, and z is, so this is, and then, of course, again, I want to plot it on this uh, figure, not on an external figure. Yes, and then I, so basically with this if, we compare the value of the switch, which we get it here, actually, I don't need it now. Uh, I just wanted to show you what the values of switch is. And then basically we compare it with on. If it is on, then we plot it. If it is not, we plot an empty graph there. Okay, so now let us see what we get. All right, so I give two numbers, 65, 400 this. Basically the answer is 520, but of course the plot 
is not here because the switch is off now if i turn on the switch and i redo this uh, operation then i have the graph and if i do i don't know plot another number then i have this graph Oh, okay, so this is basically end of this part. Maybe in the next part, I will show you some more features and uh, other commands that you can use to create your graphical user interface. Bye.